Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to RealClearPolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. Send super chats and super thanks and super stickers if you guys have the money to. We don't care if you don't have the money to. Don't send anything. RealClearPolling.com, the Electoral College Top Battlegrounds, has Trump today on October 22nd, 2024 at 12.36 p.m., 48.4% to Kamala Harris is 47.2%. As you can see, they have her from a huge rise to a steady decline. It was 4. Uh, 4.84 for Trump yesterday to 4.7.4 for Harris yesterday. Now he's got a 1.2 lead over Kamala Harris in the battleground states. Let's fill in that beautiful map according to realclearpolling.com. Washington with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada is a toss-up state or a battleground. Usually it's referred to as a toss-up state. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.7 lead over Harrison, Nevada, making Trump the winner of the six Nevada electoral votes. Nevada is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.8 lead in Arizona, giving Arizona's 11 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is 2 clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump, and that's because people from California and New York are moving to Texas and voting for Democrats instead of voting against the people that they ran away from. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Wisconsin, according to RealClearing.com, Wisconsin Trump has a 0.4 lead over Kamala Harris in Wisconsin, giving Trump those 10 sacred electoral votes. Michigan, according to RealClearPolling.com, in Michigan, Trump has a 1.2 lead, giving him the 15 electoral votes in Michigan, making Michigan red for Donald J. Trump. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is Red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia for four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, sweet home, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump. Explanations the same for Texas. People from California and New York are moving to Florida and Texas, and instead of voting against Democrats, they are voting for Democrats, turning the states they moved to into the states they escaped from. That's why it is pink for people that keep asking why we're coloring Texas and Florida pink. 
Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, Georgia Trump has a 2.5 lead, one of his biggest leads yet in Georgia, making Georgia and its 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to RealClearPolling.com, North Carolina, Trump has a 0.5 lead over Kamala Harris, making North Carolina and its sacred 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral votes, Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.8 lead in Pennsylvania over Kamala Harris, making Pennsylvania's 19 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine, the ME part, is red for Donald J. Trump. It flipped back from being blue. The 1st District of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. But Maine at large is currently blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Nebraska at large, however, which I forgot, is red for Donald J. Trump. And going back to blue, we have New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, the Democrat incumbents. That gives Kamala Harris 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 312 electoral votes. Who do you guys want to win, as my wife asked in the beginning of the video? This is very important. This really is and truly is the most important election of any of our lives. Whoever wins this election can change the history of America as we know it. We have four years with Donald J. Trump and four years with Joseph R. Biden and Kamala Harris. Which one's lives made yours better? How they ran the country. Which one made your life better than the other? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I'm your highly illustrious, highly respected, and highly skeptical President Ross. And I'm Bags. And she is out in.